Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to create a clean plate using image sequence or using reference frame inside Photoshop. So now we are inside Photoshop here. So first we have to import our image sequence here. So we have to click on this file, then click on open and just select your image sequence. This is our image sequence here. So we have to select about this starting frame or first frame. Then downside we have to click on this image sequence. Then only this will import uh, this video as a image sequence here. Now just we have to click here. Then we have to click on open here. Then frame rate we have to define. So according to a requirement that you can define it here. So here I have defined this one 24 fps here. So now we have to click on OK here. So now here that I have imported over this image sequence inside Photoshop and downside you will see this is our timeline here. So if you are not getting this timeline then, then simply you can click on this window and just you can enable over this timeline panels here. So you can see this one here. Okay. Now just we can play and check. So just play and check. So this is our image sequence here. So now before creating our clean fit, first we have to do some settings here. So first in our this layer panel, if you will import any image sequence inside Photoshop, so this will automatically just place into our this video group layer here. You can see here this one. So first we have to ungroup this layer here. Then right click on this group. Then click on this ungroup here. Then after this, we have to create a new blank video layer. So for this, we have to click on this layer. Then this video layer new blank video layer here so now uh, this will actually start this video layer at this frame because you have placed your player here okay so if you want you can just before creating this uh, video layer first we have to place this playhead at starting off over this timeline or you can just simply offset this video layer here so now again just delete this one here so again just i'm going to create so simply just we can place over this player at, at starting off over this timeline then we can click on layer and just simply we can click on this video layer and just create a new video layer here. So here I have created over this video layer. Then simply just double click here and just give a proper name. So this is our original plate. And this is our actually paint layer means on this layer just we will do our paint work here. So just click and just paint layer. Then after this we have to uh, define some shortcuts. So here I have already defined then click on edit preferences keyboard shortcuts. Then we have to select over this panel menu. Then downside you will get over this video timelines here this one open this one so here i have defined over these three shortcut previous frame whichever f1 next frame f2 and this time time means this current frame whichever f3 here so for this i have already created detailed videos so link i have given in description here now click on ok here so now if you will press f f2 so this will move this play at next frame and F1 previous frame and if you will press F3 so this will actually show you here this current frame where you want to jump inside this timeline here okay so means suppose you want to jump on 50 frame then simply you can type it here 50 now press ok so this will automatically jump at 50 frames here okay now we are ready for paint work here so here because just we have to create a clean plate using this image sequence here so first we have to check where we want to create our clean plate so you have to create a clean plate where you are getting actually maximum information and second there should be no motion blur or minimum motion blur first we have to decide so maybe at frame suppose 45 just double click here or press f3 and type it here 45 this is our actually clean plate frame where just i am going to create our clean plate so because this is a image sequence so for creating a clean plate we have to use our reference frame because according to this video just i am getting reference means suppose if you want to remove this character so here we have to check actually just part by part suppose this one if you want to first remove your this leg portion so we have to check this one then this one then this one not all portion at a time so just part by part we have to check so suppose first just i am going to remove this down portion here so just we have to check actually where this portion is not visible okay so maybe just simply we can check this frame whichever frame 22 so this is our reference frame then we have to take a, this clone tool then after this we have to click on this clone brush settings here so here we have to do some settings so first we have to untick this one here both options 
because by default these two are by default checked here so we have to untick this one here and this value by default actually 100 okay so this is mainly useful for matching reference frame with our clean paint frame here okay now just close this one here now just we have to select about this paint layer because on this layer we have to do our paint work this is again most important things here before you start your painting so first we have to select about this paint layer here then take this clone tools and just you can adjust all these settings here now we have to pick sample from our this reference frame so hold alt and just pick sample from our this reference frame so just pick here then we have to go to on that frame where you want to create your clean paint so press f3 and just type it here 45 because on 45 frames just i want to create my clean paint then we have to match reference frame with our clean plate frame okay so for this we have to hold alt and shift and just we have to match our both frame here so now hold alt and shift so you will get about this reference frame so just we have to match this reference frame with our clean plate frame so remember this one here just i am holding uh, alt and shift then we have to try to match here so simply just we can match now again release alt so you will get about this clean plate frame where you are creating your clean plate and if you will hold alt and shift so you will get our reference frame so just we have to match both frame so but here this is a little bit difficult to match so what i am going to do here so this is totally actually depends on your actually work how you are just matching your reference frame so here just i am going to define this so overlay value 50 here so actually just we can see our both frame reference frame and clean paint frame so easily we can match but this is totally depends on your work okay how you are using this options here someone is using 100 percent operative or someone using maybe 50 or 70 so just type it here 50 now if you will again hold alt and shift so here we are getting about this actually are uh, two frames which is moving this is our reference frame and which is static that is actually our clean plate frame where I am creating clean plate so just we have to match our this reference frame so remember this one here just I am holding alt and shift and just we have to try to match so first just we have to match downside because just first we will remove this portion then this one so again just I am holding alt and shift then you can use arrow key four arrow key and just simply you can move your reference frame so you can see then again release alt so this is our actually clean plate frame and if you will hold alt and shift this is your reference frame so just we have to match then little bit just we have to rotate so again hold alt and shift then use comma or dot or less than or greater than so simply just we can rotate our reference frames just we have to match both frame remember this one now just we have to match so again hold alt and shift and just adjust your frame so now here this down portion just i am matched here then after this we have to release our this alt and shift and just simply we can paint it here now just simple paint here downside then you can adjust this actually brush size even hardness just make it hardness zero even you can also adjust this opacity all these things here and here this option we have to select this current and blow this is again most important things here before painting here now just paint it here just simply we can paint this one here now you can see here this one so first we have to properly match our this reference frame with our clean plate frame then we have to paint now again hold alt and shift so we can see which portion just we can remove so maybe this portion just we can remove here this one also just we can remove so now here if you are getting this odd effect then simply you can use eraser so press e and just you can again this you can erase this one then again use this clone brush just again simply we can paint it here So now here just I remove this one here then for this one we will take another reference frame and just we will remove this one here so now just we have to remove this one so again just simply we can move over this plate and just we can check reference frame where actually just this object is not present here so maybe this frame just we can use so maybe around this frame 65 so hold alt and just simply pick this reference now go to a frame where you are creating your clean plate so press f3 so 45 then hold alt and shift and just match both frame here now hold alt and shift and use arrow key and simply we can match 
then we have to rotate so alt and shift and just less than and greater than we can use like this just we have to match our reference frame with key effect frame and just we have to simple paint even if you want you can just make this opacity 100 here now again hold alt and shift so just we can see just better make it 50 so easily we can actually see now again release alt and shift and just simply we can paint it here now again hold alt and shift so we can see which portion we can remove so maybe this portion just we can remove using this reference frame so simply just we can paint it here so just simple part by part we have to remove and just we have to create our team page here so simply just we can see here this one here so now here that I have removed this one here so maybe just try to remove this one also if you can now again hold order shift so we can see even if you want you can also remove this one here but we have to match here because just if you want to remove this portion so just we have to match here 100 percent okay so now just I am going to remove this one here so again just we have to try to match this one so just hold alt and shift so it's a little bit different we are getting here then simply we can also remove this portion so we can see using same reference frame now again just we can paint it here again hold alt and shift so we can see now here I have removed over this portion here now after we just I am going to remove uh, this portion here top one here so for this again just we have to check our reference frame where actually this character is not exist so just we have to check so maybe this frame which is our frame 24 for uh, this one here so hold alt and just simply pick this reference frame now go to frame where you are creating clean thread which is our 45 then hold alt and shift and just simply we can match So this is a clean pad and this is a reference frame. So just a little bit we have to rotate down. Then arrow key. So now again hold alt and shift and just we can use open and close bracket. So we can adjust size or scale value for reference frame. So maybe now here just I match this one and just we have to remove this one here. So here just I have removed this one so this little bit of just portion actually just remaining here so suppose for this if you are not getting any reference frame just manually simply we can paint out this one here so for this again remember this one here I have selected this same paint layer here that is simply we can select this uh, clone brush tool here then hold alt and then we can pick sample from here and, and just we can simply we can clone it here little bit minimize this brush size then hold alt and just pick this simply you can paint it here manually now just I am painting here and then adjust this opacity on this thing let me reduce this brush side hold alt and just simply you can pick and manually just we can paint out this one here if you are not getting any reference frame so simply just manually we can we can paint out here So now here just I have removed this character here. So now guys here just I have created this clean thread using image sequence inside Photoshop here. Then after this if you want to export this clean thread from Photoshop then simply you can click on this file. Then click on save as because here just simple I am going to export as a image here because this is a single frame clean thread here okay. So just we have to click on save as and just we can select our folder where you want to save your clean thread. Then just select a proper folder. So here this is our output. So just create a new folder. Just give a name. Then inside this, just give a name. Then clean plate at frame 45. Okay, so this uh, frame number is important where you are creating your clean plate because after this you have to use this clean plate and just we have to remove your character in any composting song. Then format we can select maybe PNG or TIFF or JPG. So but for this just select the simple PNG here. 
now finally we have to click on save here then press ok so now guys here just I have created about this clean plate using image sequence inside Photoshop here then after this you can use this clean plate in any composting software and just simply you can remove your character from entire sort here so if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel so thanks for watching